Hey guys, it's Jay Blue coming to another video, and uh, today I want to show you guys um, how I utilize Athlarger uh, for my benefit, I guess, in mining in certain ways um, compared to mining the way it usually is. Um, I've actually just upgraded my board from a Pro BTC uh, H81 version into an R4E Asus Rampage, um, no risers. Um, I'm actually using a PLX chip and Let's just check that you always have to kind of make sure that the fans are synced with the driver. Um, that's what I kind of just do a rundown on. Let's just go turn off the security here. Um, and the purpose for this is that a lot of you guys out there have been basically posting messages or questioning about it not working or how do you get it working and whatever. And this hopefully helps you guys. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, there's no guarantees. Um, so let's just turn off the security there. Let's just load Athlargement like so. And keep the window open. And basically load Phoenix Miner. And this is the newest driver. Um, as you can see, um, it just starts loading up. Sorry that the fan's a little loud. It will chill out for a second. Um, F larger locks in your RAM and basically lets it run. Um, averagely without F larger, you can run this on nice hash, um, but 1080 Ti's will only run at like 32 mega hash. 1080s usually run at possibly 21, 22. Um, with F larger, they run at 30. Um, these usually run at 45. Uh, 40, 45 ish. I have got them uh, to up to 49, 52 uh, with liquid when I had them in the liquid setup that I showed you guys uh, last uh, winter. Um, however, um, this is how I have it set up and it seems to work. I know you guys are wondering, you know, the 1080s, um, they don't like jumping algorithms. Okay, they usually just tend to like lock in to doing a specific task and kind of just go from there. 1080 Ti's, however, don't really care whether they jump algos and whatnot. So when you see auto switching in nice hash, it's best preferred to just you know keep it on whatever algo is profiting you best. Um, but like I said to a lot of you guys out there with, uh, on Reddit with those newbie uh, remarks or can't get it running. Um, let me see if I could just zoom in there and show you guys. Um, they usually run at like 45s and 50s uh, for the... Oh, see, it's, it's hot today, and it's actually running 39 and 42 off the hop. And the 1080s are running just at 30s there, if you can see. So, um, like I said, without them, you're going to be basically getting a stock clock um, hash rate um, with 1080s. Uh, the 1080 Ti's as well. Um, and I've been seeing comments about them being like it, it's a hack or it's closed source and whatever. I could care less. Um, this has benefited me since it came out. And I just hope that to you guys out there who are trying to get it to work. I know that if you guys have a 1080 as a primary and F larger goes on, try to bench nice hash independently um, and run. You can run F larger on the side just like this without running nice hash in administrator. Um, if that seems to crash uh, your computer or crash the driver or vice versa, whatever. But like I said, I hope this tip helps, you know. Um, I've noticed that when I had the 1080 Ti's alone, that they do tend to shatter your di graphics display. Um, you know, some V-Sync happen in there and it just goes out of whack. Um, if you have them linked in with these 1080 Ti's, they, the 1080 Ti's seem to drag 1080's. So as long as you just like specifically lock the, you know, basically let um, at larger lock in uh, the RAM of the 1080 t the 1080 cards, the, and you have a 1080 with it, it should for surely just work without any problems. I mean, that's what I've experienced. Like I said too, this is another up upgrade board and off the hop, I had to clone this drive um, basically with another Windows, basically get it all set up. Uh, you know install the brand new driver and it seems to work I like I said I've been seeing a lot of people post questions and issues that you guys may have um, and I hope these tips kind of like help you guys go about your setup you know what I mean 
So like I said, it's not a hack. It kind of is a hack. It just like it's its own independent program that kind of like works. You just have to open it and let it like clock your you know your GPU's RAM um, to work with Ether in its most efficient way. So like I said, uh, I hope this video helps. Uh, Hope to see guys see you again in the next update video. Um, this is actually just an upboard upgrade mock-up and about how I'm using Athlarger to my benefit. So I hope you guys like it. See you guys later.